Installing a lock on the rear hatch. Um, being a bus, there is no lock back here, and we don't want anyone just coming in willy nilly. So, working with this, I'm gonna attach this piece right to the lever and attach the base of it to the door. So, when they try to open it, or if anyone tries to open it, there's gonna be no wiggle room, it's gonna be locked in and Nice and tight, and bam. Success. So the lever on the door is a little further out than it should be, or needs to be for the lock. So I made a little template or a piece of wood to bring it out a little further. I'll show you. One washer should do it. You get the idea. So I made this template to go right on top of the door. So the pad is gonna lie right on top of this and it's gonna go right on the door to get it to the right height and um, so it lines up with the receiving end of a lock on the lever arm. So I started drilling and it looks like where I'm drilling at is hitting some ribs in the bus door wall. It's not going to be easy. up here I'm going to be making a little latch table to cover up this window we we wanted to keep the window uh, but also cover it up and so I thought you know I could have a little table that flips down so I I had an old bed frame and so I'm gonna use the bed frame as the board piece to uh, to flip down so let's see if this is gonna work all right so i have the wood piece cut out and going to sand it and um then stain it the color that i want it to be so sand it something that we had around the house so I'm just gonna use it it's a white and let's go little bit of a brown color so I just painted a little layer of the exterior paint and then I'm adding water to it just to kind of water it down and 
kind of have it kind of pop out. All right, so I bought um, two of the 16 inch piano hinge that I'm going to screw onto the frame of the door. And then the other end is going to be the wood piece that's gonna be up on here. So that's what we're doing right now. frame metal wires to snap into here and the other end is going to snap into the frame of the bus so drilling some holes so i also bought uh these magnet pieces to go uh, to clip onto the board and onto the uh, door so that once you close it it'll just stick up and not like flap down so i'm just gonna screw on the magnets. All right, so we have the little uh, table right here and we have the magnet pieces. So it just snaps on and it stays and it just comes off, snaps off. So the magnet piece is really strong, it's heavy duty. And then what I have up here is I'm going to um, put the wire to snap it right up on place right here. And then so when it hangs down, it, does, it won't go all the way down. It'll, it'll go uh, 90 degrees. people feeling really successful today we have a little table so we can put our drinks on here cook on here if we wanted to and there we go
Yeah, the magnet feature I think was a great idea because it just stays on there and it just snaps in place. So if I'm driving, it won't go anywhere. So for the side door, we're gonna put on a uh, surface bolt. No key needed, just lock for security. This is gonna attach to this handle right here. We're gonna create a little um, receiving end for it to lock in place. Wish me luck. as well so it just goes down and then locks in place so you won't be able to move the lever so it's stuck right there and then just unlock it and then it goes up and down it's not the prettiest uh, device here but it works and it keeps it in place and so nobody can come in so we brought a locking gas cap to uh, protect the fuel on the bus from anyone that may want to take it. Got it at AutoZone, Duralast. It's vehicle specific, so make sure you get the right one for your bus. So. And boom plus five horsepower. So we put the locks on all of the doors and so now you're able to lock them and um, it's not moving anymore. And also we put on a little outdoor table for this uh, one emergency door. So now you can use this as a little outdoor table for your drinks. So I think it was a pretty successful week and uh, we wanted to thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next week. Uh, hopefully, weather permitting, we'll be able to paint the bus. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm.